So before we go and face our mom again, I just want to pause here and just appreciate the music for how great it is. The organ, the sadness of it all, the hopelessness, it, I just love it so much. This is like the best final boss lead up music ever. It, I don't know, it just fits this really well. Fits it really well. Alright, so I know there's probably different things I could do in here, but I want to stick to what I, what my initial actions were, which were to eat the cake, which may or may not have been a good idea, but it's what I did and I'm going to stick with it until I beat mom. Yeah, she, this this was just really creepy. Did not need this at all. All right, so worm, toss this in. And then the worm turns into a butterfly. I can't believe we were so close to catching this and we didn't. I nearly had like a breakdown. This time, this time we're gonna do it though. So I'm gonna fill up on food for sure. Because this is the end, we might as well eat everything. Grab our candle. Let's go. We're doing this for Mom, we're doing this for JF, we're doing this for Lucrenzia, we're doing this for us. Love the music here too. As soon as she transforms though, we gotta bounce, cause her worm attack does so much damage. No! Oh my god, we missed it. Okay. Where's that butterfly? Where's that damn butterfly? Where did it go? Ooh! No, 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 get away from me. Where is it? Oh, there it is! No, don't put down a candle. Come here, come here. Lucrenzia, come here. Oh, it's heading towards her. No. Oh, every time I go near her, she decides to poop out more worms. Where is the butterfly? What are you doing? Ooh, we are getting hurt. I don't want to get hurt. Because last time, I think we like insta died when we got too many worms near us. There's worms everywhere. Get away from me. No, 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 no. We've lasted really long, but there are like just a bajillion worms and she chasing me. Where is that butterfly? Uh, I can't see it. The butterfly is way too fast for me. I, I made my choice. I'm grabbing the butterfly before I leave this place. I'm not just gonna head straight for the, um, the beanstalk, even though that is probably the safest choice. There it is, there it is, there it is. No! Ugh. Bread? Chestnuts? There's worms everywhere. Why is that butterfly being so dumb? We both need to get out of here. Okay, come here, come here, come here. No! No, it dragged me right to her. Alright, so I think the key to this boss fight is we have to get to that butterfly, moth, worm thing ASAP. We have to get there quickly before there's too many worms on the ground for us to move. Oh, this is really hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. Because the butterfly moves so damn fast. Okay, so the instructions are catch the butterfly, get to the plant. So let's do this. Ready? So much damage? It's okay, it's okay, we got food, we got food, we got food. Stay up to full. Wait, I saw the butterfly. It's up there. But see, if I even hesitate a little bit, the butterfly moves away. Don't scream! No! Oh, so many worms. <sighs> 
Come on, come on. Oh, why does it keep flying towards her? Ugh! It stopped for a second! Oh, that was a lot of damage. I think I had to eat a cheese. Oh, that gave me so much health back. Quick, quick! Get away from her! She coming! She coming! Ah. Okay, went down there. It's a dead end. But I think we could get it. Come on! No! Why do I keep putting down candles? Oh, there's worms everywhere now. Maybe I should just wait here until it comes for me, comes back? Maybe it's on a loop? Yeah, it's coming back, it's coming back. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come, 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 come. No, 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 where are you going? No, not back to her. Okay, this might be a good plan. We'll just, we'll just chill out here until it comes back. She doesn't seem too intent on chasing me down. Oh, come on! Maybe she can't see me from down? Oh, no, she can see me. She could definitely see me. Get away from me. Get away from me, you're not my mom. I am kind of trapped, and she's getting closer. I don't like this. Time to get out of this dead end. Ooh, got a, so many worms. Oh, it's too much, too much, too much, too much damage. Come on, where are you, butterfly? There, 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 there. Come, 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 stay. No, stop putting down candles. Don't fly towards her. I'm sure I'm supposed to catch the butterfly, right? Like, I'm not missing anything. I'm not supposed to just head for the beanstalk and it'll meet me there. Oh my god. Need more food. Come, 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 come. No, stop putting things down. Come on. It's over here, it's over here, it's over here. No. No. I got it! Okay, we've got a butterfly-shaped jewel. The exit is just up ahead of us. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Go, 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 go. Whoa, the butterfly turned into a jewel the moment I caught it. Oops, I better leave this place at once. Yeah, damn straight, we gotta bounce, we gotta bounce, we gotta leave. She ain't le letting us leave. She's chasing us. Oh, right when she screamed. Okay, we're going, we're leaving. I'm finally leaving. Oh, hey, it's you, jerk. Whoa, my legs are shaking. Welcome, sire. Oh no, you again. Sire, please accept my sincere apology. I am terribly sorry for not having explained in detail the last part of the trial. Leave me alone! I don't believe a word you say! I just want to leave this place. I don't want to be rich or account or anything! I never intended to lie, hide information, or be rude to you, sire. I was only following the Count's command. Please accept my apology, sire. Yeah, I wouldn't trust him either. Without further ado, I would like you to follow me so I can tr introduce you to my master, the Count. He awaits in the hall. It'll be one of your tricks. I promise the trials are over. Will you please follow me, sire? Ooh. Well, JF didn't lie to us. This is... This is, I guess, the ceiling area? Oh, I wish he could have come with us. I wish there was a way to save him. Guess we don't have any choice but to follow the kobold. Will you follow me, sire? Oh, now the music's all happy. Oh yeah, I don't know if I want to rule a castle with these creepy-ass tentacle-faced servants anyways. Oh yeah, and this red asshole. Definitely not. You're fired if I do stay here. Oh, who are all these people? Hans, my grandkid, give me a hug. 
This is a Count Lucanor? What? Will you look at you? You're so big! I haven't seen you since you were a toddler. How old are you? 14? 15? I'm 10. Only 10? You look like a grown man. Wait a moment. Are you really my grandpa? I don't know who you are. Oh yes, excuse me, Hans. I was so happy that I forgot to tell you. Ten years ago, my daughter Lucrenzia, your mom, met your dad, Joseph Frey. They married without my consent and had a son. That's you, Hans. JF! Oh! So the soldier did want to marry Lucrenzia. Okay. Okay, that makes sense why my mom was down in the dungeon. Not really, no. Yeah, not really, no. Also, you're kind of an asshole for imprisoning my mom, I guess. And then abandoning me, because we had nothing in our cabin in the forest. We had no food, no money, and our dad mysteriously left for war. Uh, but I guess technically I am to inherit the throne. Lucrenzia is my mom? Indeed, Lucrenzia, my daughter. Your father had to go to war. When he returned, he tried to prove he was worthy of the role by tackling the ch castle trials. Was he the soldier down there? Yes, that was him. He almost succeeded. Now he has my respect for his great courage and honor. God, I'm oblivious. It was you, Hans, who solved all the riddles, avoided all the traps, and bravely came to me. You are the new Count Lucanor. But... Ah, son, you are blood of my blood. Besides, you deserve it most as you have tackled the trials. What about mom and my dog Spittle? So I'm not ever coming back home? Your mother will be here soon, and we can also bring your dog if you want. But Hans, do you really think you're going to miss that filthy house of yours? Someone like you deserves to live in a great castle. Ah. Uh. My dog is not filthy, excuse me. Sit in the throne, Hans, and become the new Count Lucanor. Um, I don't trust those two at all. There are more holes in this explanation than in a Swiss cheese. So Lucrenzi is my mom? That creepy crawly I left down there? No way! I'm not sitting in this throne until I find out the truth behind all this. Yeah, that's a good point. They're... There's a lot of questions like, why is my mom down there? Uh, what was the butterfly? Congratulations, sire. The trial has ended. You've proved to be worthy of the throne. Now sit and relax. Okay, everyone wants me to sit in this goddamn throne. But, I remember there was a note that said like, oh, I pity whoever has inherit like the Count's evil stuff and all of that. I think I got lost in your explanation. Sit, son. I'll explain everything to you. You must be exhausted after the trials, sire. Oh yeah, I'm not touching that throne. I'm not touching that throne at all. I don't know anybody, but they seem happy to see me. Yeah, you know, all these rich nobles, this could just be an illusion. Oh, I still have my inventory. Okay, let me quickly see if I could talk to any of these guys. The humble red Carmen Lango is at the tiny mousy mouse's feet. <laughs> yeah, that kind of attitude won't fly. Excuse me, I am the new Count Luganor. You guys speak? No, you guys are just the weird whispery things. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to inherit any of this. I don't want to inherit a castle full of dead people and uh, traps. I'ma put on my ring. The Count Lucanor is a fraud. What are you saying, Hans? The snake ring tells me you're a fraud. You're not the true Count Lucanor. Oh, please, darned old woman and darn magic ring. Oh my god, he just exploded. Just as you were about to sit. Wait a moment, you've got to explain all of this. 
Where do I start? Hundreds of years ago, the true Count Lucanor commanded me to find an heir, as he had no offspring. So I prepared the trials and challenges in the castle. Young men from all kingdoms heeded the Count's call, for they coveted his vast fortune. But none of them managed to tackle the trials. So why didn't you prepare an easier test? That's what I suggested to the Count, but he was really stubborn. He wanted the best of the best. Years went by and no one succeeded. The Count aged and got sick. As he was facing death and had no heir, he feared I might choose some useless human being for the role. Thus, before he died, he called a witch in the woods and commanded her to curse both me and the castle. Did he force you to stay here for life? No, he didn't. Instead, he bound me forever. I would only be free when someone tackled all the trials. And I've tackled them. You have. I have welcomed countless knights and thieves, fortune seekers, soldiers, or mere curious people every night for the past centuries. And the only one who had managed to tackle all trials was a ten-year-old poor kid. Unbelievable. So the people I've met tonight, all the things about my family, my father, my mother. The curse was playing tricks with your memories. It's all lies. I got a final question. What would happen if I sat in the throne? My curse would be over as I would have completed my task, but you'd be trapped in the castle forever. Forever? Well, that's just great. But you'd be rich, of course, and you could use the money as you pleased. I thought you were sick of being poor. Yes, that's true, but what about my mom? If you decided to become the new count and set me free, I'd owe you and, well, we could make some sort of deal. You already know everything I know, now it's your call. If you want to put an end to my curse, you should sit in the throne. On the contrary, if you want to leave, there's an exit behind it. Just push the throne and you'll be outside. What? You would just tell me all of that? So you're the one who's trapped here. The count's already dead. Um, I mean, I, this is kind of an easy choice. I do not wish to be trapped forever in a castle, even though I would be rich. I'm only 10 years old, I'm not ready to be a count. And I do not want to become the next blue kobold. He don't look so happy, also he was a liar. So I'm gonna put this on. And gonna leave, okay? Bye bye, bye. Goodbye, goodbye forever. Oh, he was right, there was a door. Oh, no, 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 no. No? Why is it trying to go back? Alright, gotta leave. It's been nice meeting you, Hans. You too, Patrono. Patronio. Goodbye. That's it? That's it? We did it? Is this real? Save soul. You saved my soul without me paying you a coin? Oh, I'm so touched, Mr. Raven. Ouch, my head. I'm back. I made it out of the castle. Was everything a dream? That raven again. What does he want? Hey, Mr. Raven, I've got a headache. What do you want? Do you want me to see the tombstone? Alright, alright, let's see the inscription. <gasps> Joseph Frey? Joseph Frey is the name of my dad. So my dad's dad? Mom always told me dad was fighting the war and he'd come back someday. Oh, she lied to protect us, didn't she? Okay, who are the other people here? It's a really old tombstone. It's so worn I can't read the name. I guess all these others are super old. Okay. Just trusty old snake ring. Alrighty, it's fine. I'm just gonna hold on to this just in case. A portable light source which can be also placed on the floor to illuminate dark areas. Oh no, that's the piano one. Butterfly is just a butterfly shaped jewel. Alright, I. Ooh, a chest! 
a candle. There's a note. I discovered the legend of Count Lucanor on my way back home. I just couldn't get there. I just couldn't get there empty-handed. Signed by JF, our dad. Oh. He didn't want to come back poor. He wanted to bring us some gold back. Well, and you guys guess he didn't make it. Oh. Oh, the river is normal again and the ducks are not evil. This is nice. This is very nice. I like this. This is very, very nice. I like this a lot. River of the Dead. It's a goat! And you don't want to eat me! Hello, Mr. Goat! Oh, you're cute again. I can't wait to go back and see Mom. Is the baby goat still here? You know baby goat? I don't see it. Uh, hey, goat herd! You sleeping off that hangover? Hello? He's sleeping soundly. I better leave him be. Everything is back to normal. We're not in that nightmare anymore. I hope. I hope. I hope I don't go home and it's like, oh, Mom, why are you crying from the eyes again? What's this? All those above 15 shall report to their nearest- Oh, right, 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 right. The Gwarth stuff. Hey, what you doing? Hey, kiddo. We're looking for young men to go to war. You know anyone? Oh, there are only old men and kids around here. You better go to the village. Hey, and you don't know who's taking care of the these goats, do you? The goats take care of themselves, sir. Oh, we protected the goat herd. Go away, kid, or do you want us to take you to war? Haha. <laughs> oh. Hey, the goat that probably chased me. Hey there. The goats are on their own. I still feel very tense after that very scary boss fight. There's nothing else here. I didn't see the baby goat though. Where did baby goat go? Maybe he all, he's all grown up now. Okay. Let's go home and hope that mom is normal. And not scary. Oh, hey! Fixing his cart! It seems they sent someone to pick up yesterday's mess. It's a proper horse. Why have another donkey? I miss my donkey. That's a nice horse, but where's that donkey's gone? Yeah, where's the donkey? Ugh, the goats are just littered all over the mountainside. Oh, I love it. I can't believe how much I missed the beginning of this game. <laughs> Spittle! Have you come to look for me? Thank you, Spittle. I'm so happy to see you. Hey, have you taken care of mom as I told you? Attaboy. Alright then, let's go see her. She'll be worried. Ooh. That sounds like mom isn't normal. Spittle's running away from home. Aw, oh, Spittle's following us. Duh. Curse of Gorge. Yep, this is all the same. Come on, Spittle. Ah. Zowie, it's the merchant. Oh, Jesus Christ, what? I wanted to come up here to pick some apples. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Oh, why has it gotta be this way? Why, Mr. Merchant, why? I was so happy, ready to go home. There's a sign, it reads thief. Oh, he didn't kill himself. He was a thief, and, and he, I guess, robbed the Count? Anyways, he got punished. Oh, it's a little squirrel, and he's not evil anymore, duh. Okay, that was still a little bit morbid for my happy walk home. Back to Mom. Spittle, keep up. I don't want to lose you. Oh boy, so does that mean we're going to see the old lady and Eisbin? the way home? It must be. Okay, I'm sure we'll meet the old lady. Come on, Spittle. We're gonna see how all our friends ended up. Okay, 
guess, but it'll still be behind me. Is there anything up here? Oh, this is back to the beginning of the castle. Oh, Eisman, hey! Poor thing, I bet he wants to go back to the castle. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hello! I even noticed this. Candle, there's a note. This wall must be part of the part of Tenenbaer Castle. But how can I get across this insurmountable barrier signed by JF? Oh, it's my dad. Uh he looks very dark and dangerous. Should I go home first? Should I look for the old lady? A butterfly symbol. It's like the one I caught in the depths of the castle. I should search through this area, I might get some more clues. Okay, let's- we're searching, we're searching. Old lady can wait. We gonna pry this thing apart. Oh boy, please don't- no jump scares, nothing scary. Come on, it's daytime. I don't- I just want this nightmare to be over. Oh, we can open this door with a butterfly. Why is everything gotta be written in blood, by the way? I'll try and place the jewel in the opening. Well, that worked. Hello? Please, nothing scary. Please. Oh, this looks like the throne room. The, the room leading towards... Towards the, the throne. Oh! <gasps> Gold? Treasures? Have we done it? Whoa, that's some big treasure! Wait, this isn't one of those traps, is it? It is absolutely one of those traps, for sure. Can I just grab a little and then leave? I give you some diamonds. Oh, we got 30 gemstones! What? What? I didn't expect that! <laughs> it's beautiful. Diamonds and other valuable gemstones. Um, Some shiny little gold coins. 200 gold coins, what? What? What's in this one? I don't what I don't know what these are, but I'm taking some. 20 pearls. I'll take some jewels. I don't think the count will need them. 10 jewels. We're rich, mom. We're rich. Wait. 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 Oh, okay, they're real. They're real treasure. That's awesome. Oh, I guess this is where the count is, eh? There's a message engraved. My fortune belongs to those who have come to this place, the Count Lucanor. That means I can keep it! Finders keepers! I have a bad feeling about this? What? Oh no. Oh no. Should we put it back? Is it too late to put it back? Is he gonna wake up and chase me? We're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to be here anymore. We're good, we're good. Please. I wonder what happened to Guila. I didn't talk to her before I left. And it's a pity because I remember she was looking for the treasure. Oh, hey, yeah, Guila. I totally forgot about her. I was under a lot of stress. A lot of stress. A lot of stress. <laughs> Uh, maybe we'll meet her on our way back home. Hey, Spittle, you're here. Ah, it's a shame. We didn't get to see more of Guila. I probably missed something with her. And I feel a little bit bad. I thought I was really thorough with um, checking everything out. But who knows? I, I ho I'm hoping we would meet the old lady again, because I want to thank the old lady for sure. Because that snake ring saved me so many more times. Ah, there she is! Hey! Hey, old lady witch lady. Thank you so much. Hello, son. You haven't seen my pig, have you? I was on my way to the market, but he left running all the way up. He really likes the woods. I cannot tell why. The pig is close to the castle wall, beyond the big rock up above. Thanks, son. I'll have to thrash him, so he'll learn to stay. The problem might be the thrashing, lady. Try with the corn. Pigs surely love it. Alright, alright, you might have a point. 
So you don't have anything else to do? Okay. I'm gonna go home. Let's hope there's nothing, nothing scary at home. Hangman's with, right. Um... In my initial playthrough, I never took this, and I regret it so badly, I never took this path, this path off to the side. I am very curious what it is, so we're gonna sidetrack once more before we go home. Then yeah, maybe Gwila is this way. I don't want to go to the village now, I want to go back home and see mom. Ah. Okay. Maybe another time. Maybe I'll load up a new game and just see what's over there. <gasps> this is the end? Ah, designed by a friend Chis Chisco, Calvin, Calvello, Maxime, Kegnart for the code, script by Rodrigo Chico, English translation, Santiago G. Sands, special thanks to Henrique. Oh, I didn't see the last part. Okay, mom, please be normal. Just want to go home. Mom? Oh, hey, the donkey's here! Donkey corn! Hey there, buddy! Mr. Donkey, have you come to stay with us? That's a yes. Mom will really be happy with the donkey. You know what? I've been holding this for so long just for you. Have an apple, Mr. Donkey. Oh, it seems he don won't poop any more gold. <laughs> That's fine. You know what? We don't need any more gold. We don't need any more gold. You want some more? I got more apples for you. Oh yeah, we're just gonna watch him poop until I'm out of apples. I saved all these apples for the donkey corn. I just never saw him again. That's okay. These are all for you. I got plenty of food. You look so starved. I still see ribs. Gotta fatten you up. Okay. Alright, let's go in. Spittle, you sure mom's okay, right? Just take a peek through the window. Nope, nothing. Alright. Oh, Spittle made a new friend. Spittle and the donkey corn. Gonna get along just fine. Just notice, it's one of our shirts hanging. Oh, look, down there. That's a nice detail. <gasps> mom! Mom! Hans! Come to me, kid. It's not scary. Mom, forgive me. You were right. I'm still too young to leave home. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll never disobey, and I'll help you with the housekeeping, and I won't ask you about Dad ever again. Son, about your father. There's something you need to know. I already know, Mom. I've seen his grave in the woods. Joseph died at war when you were a baby. I didn't want to tell you. Forgive me, son. I'm fine, Mom. Don't worry about me. I'm already ten, don't you remember? Would you like to see what I've brought from my adventure? Sure, show me. Alright then. I've got three chestnuts. We can have them roasted for dinner. It's so cold at night, we can warm our hands with them. That's that's such a like humble thing to say. She, she doesn't care that we ran away. She's just like, oh, I'm glad you got some scraps of food. It'll be so great for us. I've got five pieces of bread here. Yeah, we started off with like one piece. This is like five times more. Come on, mom, you have to be happy. We can use them to have toast for breakfast for some days in a row. They're delicious. Look, I brought three pieces of cheese. Well, well, if we have all this cheese, we'll end up having a rat face, huh? Look, mom, I brought you a mirror. God, I'm having such a bad hair day. We'll hang, hang it on the wall so we can look nice when we go to the village. I've also collected this crowbar. I got it from a goat herd. It's really useful. Right on. It'll come in handy if we need to do some home repairs. Oh, maybe I should've saved an apple or so. Look, I brought 29 candles. They were everywhere, huh? <laughs> Blimey, I didn't know- I don't know what to do with so many candles. We could sell them in the village, or even open a store. Look, Mom, a magic ring. I got it from a lady in exchange for the cane. Well, maybe it doesn't work anymore. What's this? It looks priceless, Hans. We could get some good money if we sell it in the village market. No, 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 Mom. This thing is worth more than gold. Alright, and last but not least... Whoa! 
things, but... But what's all this? You haven't stolen this, have you? What? No way! That's Count Lucanor's hidden treasure, Mom. I found it so we can keep it. A count? We did it! We did it! Happy ending! Woo! With the money they gathered, Hans and his mother asked a witch to remove the curse from Tenebaer Castle. Then they bought the castle and brought peace and prosperity to the whole region. Also, we totally married Guila at the end. Yep, yep. That's that's what I'm adding in. There we go. That's the end. Oh, this was such a great game. I enjoyed it so much. It was very, very intense. Um, I love the music, pixel art, you know, the whole, the usual. This game definitely fit right up my alley. I like puzzles and the horror. It was scary, but it wasn't like too, too bad. Not a lot of jump scares or anything like that. It was just more suspenseful and gory. So, you know, I didn't find it that bad. Um, my only complaint, and it's a tiny one, is that the gold needed to save the game. I end up with tons of gold in the end, so it didn't matter, but like during the game play, it felt like I wasn't sure if I was gonna ruin the ending or if I was gonna be able to make it with the key. It was it was just needless tension, I think. Overall, I really liked it. I love the story. I know this game has multiple endings. They're like good endings, bad endings. I think we got like the most optimal one. We got our money, we got back home to mom, she's proud of us, we learned our the error in our ways, we're no longer a dick. I think that's the best, happiest ending for everyone around. I'll definitely explore the other endings on my own just because I'm curious. Um, I want to know what happens if I don't eat the cake, what if I eat all of the cake, most likely I'll die. But yeah, I had so much fun playing this game. It was just the right amount of suspense, right amount of just horror and I just really didn't know what to expect. Every time there was a cutscene, they were just really trippy. Really, really trippy. So thank you so much, Broke Decay, for this amazing game. I definitely recommend you guys to go check out the rest of their games. And thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I know it was probably a little bit frustrating at times watching me die over and over and over again. And there were a lot of deaths, but you stuck through it and you made it to the end. So, you know, round of applause for yourself as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda the Good, and I'll see you in the next series.